Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. If you have any question regarding this video or any other video, uh, please write to me at walkwithtag at gmail.com. Uh, it's easier for me to reply to you by email, and I will be more than happy uh, to hear from you, uh, and I will answer your question promptly. And there has been a lot of questions. What type of stove is best for stir frying? And there is a great deal of debate, particularly dealing with glass top electric stove. A stir frying is an unusual cooking technique because stir frying can be done under different type of heat capacity. Uh, if you have a high the capacity stove, uh, you can cook the same dish very rapidly, as in the case if you have a low heat capacity stove. And there are plenty of uh, YouTube videos demonstrate that people cook on a stove sometimes up to 200,000 BTU uh, to stir fry and they able to cook a stir-fry dish in a matter of minutes. Uh, this has provided an impression that uh, you can only stir-fry on high-capacity stove, uh, particularly uh, on gas stoves. Unfortunately, this is a complete misrepresentation of what stir-fry it is like. And consequently, uh, most people harbor uh, the impression that you cannot stir-fry on electric stove, but uh, they are just not hard enough because they do not have the type of uh, uh, heating capacity as you would find in a gas stove. Uh, furthermore, most people have the wrong impression is that because a wok is a bowl shape, uh, you cannot cook on a flat surface such as a flat glass top electric stove. And when you cook on a flat glass top electric stove, the impression is that there just will not be enough heat. In fact, I have many people who told me that uh, they could not stir fry in the kitchen uh, because they have a flat top electric stove and they feel that they can only stir fry adequately uh, if they have a gas stove uh, with the flame that coming off the stove that envelope the bottom surface of the wok. It is reasonable to assume that when you stir fry on an electric stove or an induction stove, uh, it is quite different as you would stir fry on a gas stove. And in my case, I stir fry on a glass top electric stove uh, for about 10 years. I have to make some adjustment uh, to make it work, but it works very well. In this video, I would like to take the opportunity uh, to tell you my experience in stir frying on a glass top electric stove. And now, after I have been using this glass top electric stove for uh, quite a long time, I don't think I will want to switch it uh, to any other type of stove. The glass top electric stove definitely has its disadvantage, but it also has its advantage as well. And I would like to explain to you some of the advantage that it has, uh, as well as point out the disadvantage that you might experience uh, if you stir fry on a uh, glass top electric stove. Now, different type of wok will have slightly different uh, interaction with the glass top electric stove. Uh, here I have a uh, light cast iron wok. And then I also have stir fry in uh, with a stainless steel wok. Now both of these work very well uh, because they have a flat surface area and they sit very well on the glass top electric stove. However, there's something really important to take in consideration when you stir fry in a carbon steel wok. Now, carbon steel wok also comes with a flat bottom surface area. However, a carbon steel wok, when it is warmed up, uh, it tends to warp. And the warping will cause the wok to become unstable. Uh, in this case, the wok actually uh, starts to spin on the surface of the stove. A carbon steel woks uh, come in different thickness. Some come in a thicker gauge of carbon steel. Now, the one in with the thicker carbon steel are far less likely to change shape, so they tend to be more stable. Uh, however, they will be heavier and it is harder to move. Whereas carbon steel wok comes in a thin gauge carbon steel, are uh, far more likely to change shape, and consequently, they become less stable when you cook on a flat top electric range. Therefore, if you are going to cook on a flat glass top electric range, it is a good idea uh, to avoid carbon steel wok altogether. Woks with a larger flat surface area are likely to be more stable. 
uh, they also provide a larger surface for heat transmission. So consequently, uh, you want to select a walk with a larger flat surface area as compared to a walk like this one, which have a smaller flat surface area. Uh, this is the difference uh, between cooking on a gas stove uh, versus cooking on a flat glass top electric stove. On a gas stove, this is not a consideration uh, because the flame will rise from the stove and tend to envelope the bottom surface of the wok. Uh, when I cook on a glass top electric stove, I have to be careful uh, in terms of how I manage the heat. Because in a, a glass top electric stove, when you turn off the heat, uh, the heat will continue, uh, usually will last for a few more minutes. Heat management is an important consideration for stir frying. In some cases, termination of the heat is critical uh, so that you will not overcook some of the food ingredients. Uh, for people who are accustomed to cook on the gas stove, they often do not remember to remove the wok uh, from the electric stove after they turn off the heat. And when I stir fry on my uh, glass top electric stove, it is important that I always have a space on my countertop to put my wok after I remove it from the stove. Uh, the inability to control heat precisely is one of the primary reasons for people who cook on a gas stove uh, prefer uh, not to cook on an electric stove. This is also the primary reason that in professional kitchens, uh, you only find gas burners. Uh, however, for people like myself, uh, who I have cooked on the electric stove for some time, after I make the adjustment to the temperature issue of the electric stove, uh, I prefer my glass top electric stove over a gas stove. Uh, simply for the purpose of efficiency, uh, the glass top electric stove is much easier uh, to clean. I normally clean my glass top electric stove with uh, cleaning vinegar. And then I will wipe it down with a scotch Brite uh, scrubbing sponge. I prefer cleaning vinegar uh, over other type of uh, kitchen uh, cleaning solutions. And most of the time, I'm able to wipe it down, use the sponge, but occasionally I use the scrubbing side uh, to uh, scrub off any resistant uh, stain. Uh, the scrub sponge works very well. And then I switch to a clean tower uh, to wipe it down and also uh, to polish the surface of the glass top. Uh, most people who use the glass top electric range uh, enjoy the extra space that they have in addition to their kitchen counter because once you clean it, it becomes an additional area for you to do prep. Uh, without any question, the glass top electric range has both uh, pros and cons. Uh, the pros is that uh, it is easy to clean and extend your counter space. Uh, the con is that the heat control is less precise in comparison to a gas stove. Uh, from the cooking standpoint, I do not see a whole lot of difference. If you'd like to learn more about my fast cooking system, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, so keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.